Hello my sweet honey bunnies and welcome to Mandarin Ducky. Today I'm going to teach you how to edit your pictures. We're going to use the Photoshop Express Editor, which is online program and there's going to be no need to install any programs or to go somewhere and register. It's all absolutely free and it's just there to, for you to enjoy it. So let's not waste our time and let us start. You guys provided me some uh, nice, really nice pictures that we can work with. So we go to get started and we try to upload our pictures. Just say upload. And the first picture is this one. This is how our editing panel looks like. And uh, basically I can see here lots of different options, which we're not gonna use all of them, but we're gonna use the basic ones, which probably can be used every time you touch up your pictures. So for this particular picture, we can start with something like autocorrect. When you click to autocorrect, you can see different options available here and you can go through them and it will be changing, you know, you don't have to click on them, you just drag your uh, arrow across and it's going to show it. Maybe I could choose one of these, but it's not really a major change. If we go here, you can see view original, you just press on it once, you just hold it and release it and you can see there's not really a difference at all. But we're going now to exposure and we're going to add up some light to this beautiful mermaid. Now red eye is something we don't need because we're not working with portraits. Touch up is something a bit too complicated for us right now. What about white balance? Okay, I think maybe if we add this one, because this one is a bit too yellow, this one is too bright, just you know too much in your face, maybe this one, but I think I still prefer to keep this all quite natural so I'll choose this one which is I think auto correct or something. We can also go to sharpen here and sharpen this beautiful picture because in a sharpen way it looks much better. So if you go and view the original here on the bottom you already see what kind of big difference we made. You can always go back a few steps you know if you don't like something, if you create you think it's too dark or you know and I think the last thing that's left is we can crop this picture. Crop is located here. And what we have to do, crop is, crop is a bit taken more of my memory, confused memory. You just drag it just the same as you would drag pictures in Microsoft Word or in any other program. And that's it. You confirm the crop by just clicking on any of the next ones. So this is how our picture looks like and this is how it looked before. It's definitely a big difference and I like it. If you want to save it, you go to done, and then you can share it on Facebook, you can do you know, anything through Flickr and Picasa, but what I want is just to save it to my computer. We'll wait for these clocks to tick, say save, write down the name and click save. And it's going to take you to one of your folders, you just choose where you want it, want it to be saved, and there you go, you're done. Let's start again with some more complicated examples. For example, some jewellery. This picture is good enough as it is, you would say, but we can make it look even better. Let's start again with autocorrect. Nothing really here so is something that suits us. Let's go to exposure. We can definitely brighten up that picture and make it look fantastically bright and wonderful. We can also go to white balance and make sure it's a perfect white balance the way we want it to be. Yeah, if we go check the view original, we already can see how big the difference is. We can definitely also sharpen it all, just a tiny bit, just to show more details. See, that's a big difference. I think for this time we can also maybe feel light. Feel light is when you feel kind of the room with the light, I guess. It just gives you that overall beautiful white light. And there you go, we got rid of these dark shadows here. We could also crop this picture a little bit because it's not really centered but there you go cropped and beautiful and we also reduced the shadows underneath the ring which is also very great okay I'm gonna cancel this since I don't want to save it let's play around with the third picture if you already understood how it works it's brilliant you can go to this website which is actually www.photoshop.com 
slash tools slash express editor. This link is provided in description for this video below anyway. Uh, but we can exercise if you want to look with another picture which I tried before and it really makes an amazing effect. So there you go, you have a picture which have a green tone and it's not really really that correctly exposed and white balance is not so correct. So we go into autocorrect and we can't really find anything good at it because autocorrect sometimes just doesn't work. We go to white balance and we choose this which is fluorescent light. And we also will go to exposure and we will expose this picture even more. We will go to saturation and we will just desaturate this picture for a slightly tiny bit. You can also drag these little bits here, not just click pictures. You can drag them and adjust just the way you want it to be. And we will also sharpen that picture just a tiny few steps. Let's drag it across. Okay. That's the difference we made. With a simple, free to use, absolutely no installation, online photo editing program. I think it's just fantastic. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, have fun and let me know if you have any questions and troubles, we're gonna film another tutorial on how to use this program. Bye bye, good luck!